Hey guys, JJ presents 945. You guys didn't think I'd be back. Well, guess what? I'm back recording more Lego Star Wars videos. Cue intro. Oh, wait, we don't have an intro. All right, a little bit of humor, but let's get back into the video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Resistance A-Wing Fighter. I know I'm a little late on covering this, but get what you get, all right? Set number 75248. And has 269 pieces, too many figures, ages 7 and up, and retails for $30 in the United States. And now let's take a look at the minifigures. So first up, you're going to have Snap Wexley. Now I'm going to be giving you a little bit of Star Wars lore in this as well. Snap Wexley, that's not his real name. His real name is Temin Wexley. And guess who nicknamed him Snap? Give me five seconds to guess before I tell you. All right, time's up. It's Wedge Antilles. I think that's uh, kind of cool. So you can see here he's got the kind of standard resistance outfit that they have been doing for LEGO for a little while now. You can see better here. He's got the resistance insignia right up here. And yes, I know I'm using a Sharpie, all right? We have some little life support here. And here is where the tube goes down. The jumpsuit as well. Very nice detailing. It also has a blaster pistol here, which is nice. Here's a better look at that unique helmet of snaps. Oh, let's get to focus. There we go. I guess. There we go. It's probably better when you're on him, you know. There's how it looks on the front. The sides. There we go. It's got some Arabesh writing here, which is nice. All right. Come on. Let me try and show you guys the Arabesh writing, which is the Star Wars handwriting. It's right there. That's you know, really cool. Rebel Resistance Insignia right there. And yeah, on the other side, much the same. And helmet's actually dual molded, molded, which is really nice. Here is how he looks without it. And there's no back facial printing, but here's a better look at his torso printing. And yeah, that's Snap Wexley. Sorry it took me a little while to, you know, show you the figure, but the camera wasn't focusing. Not, eh, it's kind of my fault. Anyways. Here's Lieutenant Connix. Fun fact for you. This is uh, Carrie Fisher's daughter who plays Princess Leia. You know, which is kind of cool. And a little kind of Easter egg thing. The hairpiece that the Lieutenant uses. was all, uh, Lego was also done or used for Princess Leia. Uh, most notably in the Battle of Endor set. Which is pretty nice. You can see she's got the resistance... Um, officer torso over here and she's got her insignia right here which shows that she is a lieutenant she's got a blaster rifle here and you can see more of her tunic with the pockets and the belt right there she has a more calm expression no leg printing which kind of sucks here's some back printing on her you can take that off to have a more angry face and I mean that's really it for lieutenant connex both pretty good figures uh, Snap is not exclusive to the set. I think came in a, the X-Wing Microfighter. But Lieutenant Connix is exclusive. Anyways, done with the minifigures. And now on to the build. This is a green A-Wing. And we actually see it in Episode 9. The Rise of Skywalker. One thing to know about this set is that it does use a lot of stickering. Here and here. Here and here. As well as here, here. Here, 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 and there. There are a ton of stickers to the set. But do I think they're necessary? Yes. Oh, wait. forgot to point these two ones out. I wish these were prints. But you get what you get for Lego. And I think most of these are needed. And another cool thing about the design to it is this symbol right here. It's the Republic Insignia. First used by the Grand Army of the Republic, at least for what I know. Then, um, you have some gold bar pieces here and here, 
which is pretty nice. Engine exhaust right here. And yeah, it looks very sleek from the way it's done and built. You know, I love the engine detailing as well. You can actually angle that up and down a bit. But yeah, just a very sleek design and build to the set. Underneath, it's got some landing gear, which you just manually fold up like so. And one of the best parts about the fighter, it's very swooshable. You can fly it. This is a very, very swooshable fighter. And um, that's a really nice feature that I love with all these starfighters. Let's get the landing gear back up so I can show you the set better. Over here are the two main laser cannons of the ship, which can rotate 360 degrees, which is pretty nice. And um, also, uh, here and here, these are secret little buttons that fire spring-loaded shooters that are right there, which is kind of cool. So, press this button down, and it fires just like so. And, yeah, it's a really nice function, and it's really great on how, you know, you can't see it at all. I think LEGO's really mastered that ability. So, yeah. Um, here's the cockpit. We can open it up here. And, wait, all right, guys, we got a little surprise for you here. Because someone has come to join this review. He's been in a video only once, but he's grown quite a bit. My cat. Hi, cat. What's going on, little buddy? What's going on? Why are you disturbing the review, huh? 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 It's all right. All right. You're going to leave us, right? You're going to leave us. All right. Awesome. Ah, no, that's out of the way. Let's get back to the A-Wing. So inside of it, I kind of have some more nice gold bars here. All right. Excuse me a moment. I think my cat is misbehaving a bit. So just wait a little bit while I put him away. So sorry about the interruption, guys. Anyways, though, back onto the build in the cockpit. Um, the main problem with it, if you ask me, is that there is no control panel here. I really wish that they had one. But you can see over here, you have some seat rests here and here. And some nice gold bar detailing here. They have the um, Lego Friends seat arrangement. So we can get our Snap Wexley here. Very easy to put him in. Just slide him in like so. And very easy to just pull him out. You know. One thing to note though is that he will. Also he doesn't really shake around at all. You can just shake the A-Wing. And he stays right in place which is pretty awesome. Kind of a hidden feature I guess. Using the quotations. You know to say a hidden feature. Is that um. Right here, we have these two studs here. These studs here and here. You can actually put Snap Wexley's blaster on it. Like so. Put Snap in. And close it up. And there we go. You can fly in with this blaster. That's a really nice idea. You know, I know it's not intentional, but it's still good you can do that. That's really all that there is with the Rebel A... We're sorry, Resistance Alien Fighter. Anyways, let's take a look at... Just see my thoughts on it. So, my thoughts on the A-Wing. I think this is a great $30 Lego set, you know? And do I recommend that you buy it? Yes and no. If you do not have an A-Wing, I really suggest you buy it. This is my first A-Wing, and I really enjoy A-Wings, you know? It's a really cool ship in Star Wars, and I'm glad to own one. This is a really nice model. And the price for $30 is really nice because other ones that were $40, they had maybe a little side build and an extra minifigure, but it wasn't really worth it. This just gives you, you know, just the main thing, you know, nothing else, which is, I think, pretty good. You get two very nice minifigures, one exclusive, one hard to find. That's really nice, you know, and you get a great set to play around with. I would give this a B plus. 
I highly recommend that if you do not have an A-Wing, you buy it. Because really, it's, it's most likely just an, a recolored A-Wing for people who already have the red A-Wings from previous times. So yeah, I really love this set, and see you guys in the next video.